So today we are looking at Solus 4.5 XFC beta version. So let's quickly boot it in a live boot. And I forgot to mention that I'm running on a virtual machine which is a VMware with 60 GB of hard disk, 8 GB of RAM and my CPU is i5 1240p. So here is the desktop layout. Let's uh, quickly change the display settings here. Go to display. My monitor is 1920 into 1080 with uh, 16 is to 9 ratio. Apply. Keep this configuration. Let's open the uh, task manager. Go to systems, task manager. So here is the task manager. These are all the processors running right now and the RAM is almost uh, 920 MB and CPU is almost 30-40% uh, can't exactly say right now but we need to run like a few minutes uh, to get this table graph and processors are 280 so here are all the processors running right now I'm going to put the uh, task manager in the right side corner like this throughout the video so you can see all the changes uh, happens throughout the video so let's open the Firefox web browser. Uh, you get a default browser which is a Firefox. So let me wait for a few seconds here to launch the uh, Firefox web browser. We already got uh, in the uh, task manager as you can see. So let's check the version. Uh, usually I always, I always uh, sorry, I'm stuttering because I'm a bit tired. So I already made uh, other desktop environments of uh, Solus Linux. So here is the version of uh, 121.0 you get version of firefox so I already made a videos of a solus 4.5 which is gnome kde and uh, another one kde plasma gnome kde and uh, budgie desktop environments i already made a videos so here is the xfc version i'm too tired i already made like a three videos so sorry for that if i my voice is try a breaking or a stuttering bit so let's type in about support let's uh click enter so you get all the information here from the version and the theme all those things the kernel all those things so if you want to see all these things you just need to pause the video or you can slow down the video you can change that by going to youtube settings and uh, playback speed to uh, the default playback speed should be 1.0 change it to 0.25 and uh, you should be seeing everything in a slow mo change it according to your uh, visible thing so here is complete information so it, this is a bit of important information if you consider important it will be important so if you think it's not uh, useful for you you just can uh, skip this part so let's go to their official website you need to type in search term as a solus linux like this hit enter so i'm using a vpn so that's the reason i got some random language let's change to english so the first link is the official website which is get sol.us which is get solus is the url uh, you can just copy url or type in like this in the uh, in your browser or in your search engine or you can just type in like a solus linux so let's go to the blog so you get the uh, release notes here like a solus 4.5 the version is uh, 4.5 and uh, the code name is resilience resilience or resilience so general uh, changes are like here like a firefox library office and thunderbird all the uh, default applications changed versions are here pipefire by default rocm support for amd hardware hardware and kernel enablement so these are all the changes and uh, in order to get to the like uh, xfc version you need to scroll it down and you can see all the changes in uh, uh, solus linux future of a mat installation we are still working so it's they are still working so you need to wait for a few days i guess so these are all the changes version 2 4.18 mousepad payroll media player restrito tuner whisker menu so these are all the changes in the xfce so we got everything here let's go to the download section you can just uh, click on download here or when you come directly to from the website you can just click on download so you can do that so there is four desktop environments available 
which is budgie gnome plasma and xfc so i already made a budgie version gnome version and a plasma version which is already available in my channel you can check this uh, all this uh, other desktop environment in uh, before uh, this video so or else you can just uh, watch this video and go to there so the uh, file size will be uh, beside the media size as you can see 2.7 for the budgie gnome for 2.9 and the solar plasma which is kd plasma 2.7 and xfc beta is 2.5 gb so here is the system requirements you need to have at least uh, this much of uh, uh, system requirements so you can download whatever desktop environment you have so before downloading any uh, ISO file watch the videos of mine or other people who made uh, Solus Linux 4.5 uh, then go with the installation so if they have any bugs you, you can just uh, skip this uh, version or you can just wait for a few days so it's always a good option to check other channels too instead of mine only you can check like a five to six channels who made uh, specific videos of that Linux distro so it will not ruin your PC so it's just like a, a survive thing or a, it's a better option to wait for a few days or else you can test on your own it's always a good option go with the live boot first then go with the installation if you are satisfied so this is the latest version or a few days ago so i think you need to wait uh, it will be a good idea instead of updating or installing directly on your main, main pc or work pc because i'm saying again and again because i don't want you to ruin your pc though so that's the reason so let's close this thing because we completed everything so there was like an issue in every desktop environment while I was using uh, all these Solus 4.5. There was an installation uh, like a bug or anything like that. When you click on the summary, it will just stop to the summary while installation. It doesn't install or anything on the virtual disk. So I am going to show you in a few minutes. So let's check the version of the uh, terminal which is uh, 1.0.4. So let's type in inxi-sv8. So this is the command which will grab complete distro information almost everything from system uh, memory machine cpu as you can see vulnerabilities graphics monitor audio network bluetooth and sata uh, storage all those things process complete information will be available so you, in order to uh, read everything you just need to pause the video because if i read everything in this thing uh, almost it takes like a three to four hours of uh, video so it will be very lengthy uh, almost without saying all those things my video will be almost 30 minutes just to show some basic things so that's the reason so you just pause the video and read everything here as you can see or you can just uh, play the video in a slow-mo so let's type in another command which is neofetch so newest fetch will be not found because it's it's not installed you need to install a new own so i'm not going to do right now let's uh, skip that part because we already have so complete information here we don't need it so i'm just going to show what are all the installed things here so let's type in inxi so you get some short information inxi dash small b next inxi dash uh, capital G so next one is INXI dash capital F so instead of typing all these things uh, the INXI dash SV8 is the best thing to get complete information in just a one command instead of typing all these things or else if you want you can just type the simple uh, whatever you need you can just type in like that it's clearly up to you so that's the reason i showed all those things so let's type in hstop hstop should be not installed uh, pre-installed you can install it on uh, on your own as you can see command not found so we pretty much covered all the distro information here so let's go with the installation let's execute you can double click on it or you can just right click on that it's clearly up to you so again we have some random language let's change it to american english so i'm going to show that bug right now so you get a welcome to the solus 4.5 resilience installer first the same thing uh, the language selection click on next and the location you can use the drop down menu or you can directly uh, click on the map so here is the system language will be set to american english you can customize up to your uh, selection uh, 
and date locales will be set to american english you can customize this or you can just put it like a default thing and here is the keyboard you need to choose your keyboard mine is dell and you need to choose your language and type here to test your keyboard so after this click on next so here you need to choose your hard disk if you have like a multiple hard disk you need to choose the exact one and choose one of these option uh, so this is the erase disk and install the uh, solus 4.5 xfc so this is like a single boot or the uh, thing which will erase everything uh, in the in that uh, specific hard disk and it's going to install the uh, solus 4.5 on that uh, hard disk as a single operating system so here are some of the options ext4 no swap all those things you already know so if you don't know how to install the linux distro on your hard disk or a virtual disk you need to check like a five to six channels uh, it's a better option instead of watching my video it's always a good good option who specifically made that installation videos or installation tutorials you can just watch their videos because there are way pro uh, linux users or a pro uh, guy who uh, is uh, good at linux it's a good option go check like a five to six channels instead of just watching my channel because it's your pc you need to be responsible for that so that's the reason i'm saying you need to check like a five to six videos of a uh, different channels and go with the installation so the manual partitioning is like a, you need to create a partition before and you need to uh, install that uh, in the uh, partition so this option is basically like a dual boot option or a dual operating system you, you can install the uh, solus linux along with the current operating system whether it's a windows 11 or any other linux or some other mac os like that all those things so that's the uh, manual partitioning option i'm just giving an example of manual partitioning i'm not exactly saying what operating system you have like that so after choosing whatever option here you need to go with the encryption if you want to do encrypt your system you need to provide the password which should be both uh, same in the both the boxes so if you don't want you just need to skip that encrypt uh, system and here is the bootloader location you get like a master boot record of a vmware virtual s and here is the boot partition and do not install a bootloader location so you can uh, do that later it's clearly up to you so uh, this part is always a good option to check other channels you already if you already using the linux distro and you know how to install this i don't need to say anything about that because you already are a pro in while installing this thing so let's click on next so you need to create a username password so these are all the same basic things you get in all linux distros and all operating systems whether it's a windows or a mac os or all those things you need to create a username so let's type in my channel so you need to uh, provide your name here you don't need to actually provide anything like that you can provide anything you can remember that thing so you need to provide the password here so everything is going good if you everything is going good you should be seeing a tick mark so if anything is wrong you, it will get a into mark here so we got everything right here so always remember the password if you don't uh, try to remember the password it's a better option to write it down somewhere like a diary or in a book somewhere so you can uh, even if you forget you just can check the password and write uh, put it in the pc so it's always a good option to write down the password for the sake of the video i'm choosing the simple password it's always a good option to go with the strongest password so here is the user creation so here is the bug i'm i was talking about before like uh, when you click on next you can't see anything here as you can see let's try something like i think we need to uh, what name do you want to use for login let me try it like this nope let's try something else i need to put the like a uh, name i guess yeah it is there was no bug i made like a five four videos of uh, every desktop environment so i thought it was a bug i forgot to put the uh, like a uh, name of the uh, like a login thing i forgot i was i don't know what i was thinking about that so i thought there was a bug something like that i forgot to put uh, like a name here in every almost four desktop environments i made that mistake i'm sorry sorry for the solar developers i thought there was a bug or something like that i hope people will comment in my uh, in the youtube i guess 
there is no problem uh, i made a mistake i i'm i'm ag i'm agreeing that i don't have any problem with that i'll face the problem if uh, people <laughs> comment on my uh, video i don't have any uh, problem with it if they say i'm damned i don't have any problem because i made a mistake i'll agree with that so after choosing all those things click on next here you get a summary so here are all the uh, things you need to do in uh, like uh, these are all the things which you uh, choose in the previous installation steps so you should see everything if everything is going good you need to click on install that's it uh, the install will take place like a five to ten minutes i guess uh, it depends on your pc and it depends on the iso file if it's a stable iso file it will be quick and if you have a good end pc it will be very quick if you have like a low end pc it will take a bit of time so that's the installation process i don't want to install because i need to make another video so that's the reason so we checked out all those things so let's check some of the desktop features which is the power options date and time same uh, the notifications nothing changed here battery again same because they didn't mention anything uh, of these things whatever mentioned in the uh, there are something in the website so you can just read everything in their website to get the exact changes so here are the uh, internet connection options about 4.18.5 so properties so these are all the same things there is nothing uh, complicated or anything like here you can add the panel preference add the new items of the panel so these are all the same basic things which you see in uh, kde not the kde xfc 4.18 version so let's try to open some random applications to see uh, whether this linux distro will handle or not so i do usually in uh, every uh, linux video because i'll test uh, whether the linux distro will handle the day-to-day -day tasks or not so that's the reason i open like a random 10 to 12 apps and try to switch these applications to see if there is any lag or any crash or anything like that in the in, in that distro if i find anything i'll just say it's a better option to skip this version or you can test on your own and say that in the uh, comment so that's the test i always do LibreOffice. there is a, a new version in resurito they already mentioned in the xfce uh, version of the solus linux so let's uh, go to the internet which is thunderbird so let's even open the uh, firefox why not because uh, we need to have like a, a good resource consuming application so that we get an exact idea of uh, whether it will crash or not so we have like a parallel media player also there is a new version in a parallel media player internet multimedia we almost opened everything so let's open the office suite which is library office so try to ignore the uh, bit of delay while opening the application because we almost opening all the applications at once so that's the reason so pretty much everything is solid everything is stable in the xfc there was an issue in the gnome desktop environment there was like a fully uh, black screen that went completely black screen uh, i don't know for some reason but all the other desktop environment was uh, flawless they work properly i don't have any issue i didn't have any issue uh, while using all those other desktop environment i would uh, i only had uh, the issue with the uh, the gnome desktop environments so keep that in mind and uh, if you want to test the uh, gnome desktop environment always check in the live boot first if you satisfied then go with the installation uh, before that the gnome desktop environment uh, i ha i need to say my system specs i was using the same spec as this one like a 8 gb of ram and 60 gb of hard disk and like a i5 1240p cpu so there was a big issue while using the uh, the gnome desktop environments do uh, remember this thing and uh, try to test on your own if you want so if you are going with uh, other desktop environments you don't need to be worried just check my video and uh, go with the installation uh, again always check other videos too not only mine other channels videos too there it will be a good option to do that so it will be helpful so we pretty much opened all the applications here almost uh, 10 to 12 applications so let's see the uh, process ignore the uh, high graph here because we opened all the applications so that's the reason it's uh, no problem you need to run like a, a 60 seconds again you should be getting a stable graph so right now it's almost like a 2.4 gb of a 7.7 .7 gb that's not a maximum uh, resource consuming or anything like that 
so it's pretty much good and uh, we don't have that much uh, resource consuming applications too here you just uh, get like a, a firefox web browser and like a, a library office and software manager uh, some media players uh, thunderbird some just basic applications so there are like a two or three applications which consumes a bit of a resource here uh, you don't have like a GIMP or a dark table, Krita, all those things. If you install that type of applications, it will be a good idea or a good uh, exact numbers. You get exact numbers of uh, how the application works or how the Linux distro will work. So if we need, we need to put like a, a good uh, stress on the uh, Linux distro to get exact uh, uh, answer whether the Linux distro will uh, be good in the day to day task all those things so that's the reason I always uh, do this type of test so it will be a good help for the viewers who want to use this Linux distros so if you do test like this they will be some viewers will be using for their daily to day to day tasks so that's the reason I make this type of test so let's try to switch the applications to see whether we see any crash or lag or anything like that so let's switch now so as you can see everything is working flawlessly there is nothing delay or anything like that everything is opening instantly even the browsers library office parallel media player uh, volume control resrito app store or a software manager task manager files all those things so do remember if you want to still uh, try to test like this you need to install some of the good uh, resource consuming applications and you need to have a good ram so i have like a 8 gb of ram so i don't have any problem with that uh, if a viewer who has uh, like a low-end pc like a 2 gb of ram i don't know what to say about that uh, because i didn't test on the low-end pc so i don't have even a, a low-end pc so it's always a good option to try it on your own and uh, to let me know in the comment section because i have like a 12 gen cpu i can't uh, recommend you uh, whether this linux distro will handle at a low end pc or not so it's always uh, your opinion will be a better option uh, in a comment section instead of mine because i have like a 12 gen so that's the reason so if you have a low-end pc if you still want to try, try it try it in a live boot or if you want to install it on your own it's clearly up to you it's your decision do let me know in the comment section uh, it, it doesn't only help me it uh, it help others too uh, people who has like a low-end pc so that's the reason again it's a 2024 it's always a good option i recommend that you need to have at least a 4 gb of ram it's almost a 2024 so it's uh, almost like a mid of uh, 2024 it's not a mid of 2024 i don't know what i'm talking i'm sorry i'm too stressed so it's uh, january 2024 so it's always a good option at least have like a, a 4 gb of ram uh, because most of the 32 bit uh, iso files are not available right now most of them are just going with a 64 bit so that's the reason so do have like a 4 gb of ram at least try to or else you can just go with uh, uh, less crashes, less resource consuming uh, desktop environments like xfc lxqt so you have still have options so it's always a good option to go with the 4 gb so if you can't afford that uh, there are already a lot of uh, uh, other distros too you don't need to be worried and there are already uh, other desktop environments too uh, there is no problem with that so if you can afford the 4 gb of ram so go with the 4 gb of ram so if you can still uh, like get 8 gb of ram it will be a fantastic thing it's clearly up to you so let's check the version and close all the applications so library office you get a 7.6.4.1 let's close this application so we already saw the library office version so let's close this thing so firefox is also saw are already shown so thunderbird should be like a 115 i guess we saw that in the official website so yes it's a supernova so some people like supernova some people doesn't know uh, like it's clearly up to them i'm not going to show all the features of the all the applications because it's going to make a lengthy video i already talked a lot uh, in the middle of the video so it should be like almost 40 minutes i guess now so that's the reason if you want to check that specific application there are already a lot of people who made a videos on that specific applications uh, in the youtube you can check other channels too i don't have any problem it will be uh, helpful for you i don't have any issue i don't have any problem 
so let's check parallel media player version 4.18.0 what else we have like a mouse and touchpad so these are all the same uh, are the same customization things which were already in the xfc so there is nothing difference here appearance they have like a three themes let's try this so the white and here is the light version so here are the changes icons fonts settings those are all the same so here is the file system so you know already how to check all those files how to modify how to do all those things so it's a waste of time to show everything preference same things nothing changed here lib64 so you already know how to go and check all those things so it's a waste of time to show everything here about xfce so image viewer Restrito, volume control, configuration, mouse pad, software center, updates. They have updates. Let's check the updates. Here are the updates. Here are the installed things. You can just uh, pause the video or you can slow down. Third party, you can install it from here you can either search here for example vlc it will take a few seconds here and you get a vlc you get the details you can install you can see what's going on here chain log license all the version information settings and here get you get uh, some of the information please visit please use uh, video LAN github to report a bug so let's close this thing so these are all the applications which comes pre-installed in the uh, solus xfc beta so we pretty much covered everything if i forgot anything do let me know in the comment section so i already said i made a mistake while installing that thing sorry for everyone who uh, think there was a bug i'm going to uh, uh ask like a uh, sorry in the description because it was my mistake i need to agree for that so i'm going to uh say sorry in the description in the top uh, corner or in a top row in every uh, solar linux desktop environment that was my mistake it's not their mistake so we need to agree when we are uh having like a we, we when we were making mistake we need to agree for that that's a good thing so these are all the uh, changes or all the things happened in the uh, solus xfc version so these are all the process this is a cpu this is a ram almost at the end of the video these are all the changes and here is some high peak just ignore this because uh, i opened all the application at once so that's the reason so these are all the process as you can see i think that's the end of the video i guess so let's close it so at the end of the video i need to say a thing that uh, the almost solus xfc was a flawless thing everything worked uh, without any issue there was no bugs nothing like that just the gnome desktop environment was uh, i have a i had like an issue so other than that everything every uh, desktop environment which is xfc budgy and kd plasma where everything was fine there is no issue uh, i used like almost in a half an hour an hour of uh, usage there was uh, no issues or no errors or uh, anything like that in three desktop environment except the gnome so that was my all the uh, four desktop environments review of the uh, solus linux 4.5 so i think uh, that's the end of the video so let's see the logout screen and end the here so i'll be posting like a two videos daily without missing any day so if you want to subscribe you can subscribe if you can't if you don't want it's clearly up to you you can just watch the videos and just watch other channels without subscribing it's uh, not an issue it's just i need to ask for that i ask that's it i don't have any problem if you don't want it's clearly up to you it's your opinion i respect that so i think that's the end of the video again peace out